you look like you mean business today, Marcus. You've got two chainsaws out, your chainsaw mill, even the spanners have come out, the ladders. What are the plans? Uh, we're gonna go and get some wood from next door. Next door have donated their, their Fiona fallen trees to the, um, to the mini barn new barn project project <laughs> it's a bit fresh we do rain aren't we yeah so we figured let's just get out and uh see what we can do i'm so excited it actually feels like we are starting the mini barn and it's actually gonna happen this year so fingers crossed it will go smoothly on to the first tree this time i am pretty sure Moments passing away I've never seen before Marcus is just trying to get some lengths of wood so we can get the trees off the ground that we're trying to mill I always wonder if you were left without a mark Did you ever let go? Did you ever not know? You were never out there alone Do you think there's a chance For this love to be real I will let you take the wheel From now Take an each board off of that as well. Cool. We'll use most of that. Super, right. yeah. Do you think there's a chance for this love to be real? I will let you take the wheel from now on. Fencing for the garden for a nice Easter weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's a little wet. It's a little wet out here. 
What are we doing, Marcus? We're sitting in a box trailer we borrowed off of our neighbour because we had to go and get from one of the distributors' warehouse a load of lettuce. So we're looking at all the lettuce. <laughs> and we've got to bag it up, but it's absolutely teeming down. Literally, there's rivers running down the road. So we're gonna, we're just gonna hide in the box trailer, all cramped, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna um, take that, all the take all the stuff out of the bags. With our coffees. Yeah, with coffee. Thank you. Stress blessed and coffee obsessed. <laughs> Show us, show us your buds. Your buds. Coming on my trees. Oh yeah, what trees is that? I can't remember. <laughs> 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 hey, what do you want? Is that right? Yeah. If I could, I would be right here with you. Now we just got to decide how far we're coming off. There's our little plan. Our little plan. A small, just a small stone marker. All it is, it's just a, just a small pebble. <gasps> Whose idea was it? The corner post there. <laughs> go on, you're picking the rocks out. Oh, go on then. Time. So we bought the post hole digger when we did the woodshed last year because when we did the polytunnel it took forever because of the amount of rocks. Um, so I actually think... No, this... no, right. no, we no. No? No. We didn't buy the no. post hole digger because of the amount of rocks. Oh, it was half off, wasn't it? No, we bought the post hole digger to assist with digging the holes. We knew... Oh yeah. Well, I did explain to you at the time that we would have to spike through the rock layer yeah. and that that post hole digger wouldn't dig through rocks. Yeah, but it's much quicker with it. But it doesn't dig through rocks. Well, it's not magic. It's not magic. No, but if we got a But it's way quicker than when we dug them all by hand. No, I told you at the time, if we got a skid steer <laughs> with a post hole auger hydraulic drive one, yeah. it'd go through rocks. Yeah, um, but I think that's more expensive, Marcus. But anyway, yeah, it's, um, it's going quicker than it did when we built the polytunnel, so I'm quite pleased. Chickens are loving it. They're in the compost pile there as well. So yeah, so hopefully we'll get sort of 
the holes dug for this one side today. That's my aim, Marcus. It's only, it's only seven holes, we're on the second. It's doable, right? Yes, it could be. It could be. He needs the exercise. So you might remember we uh, burnt the end of these posts last autumn, ready for the fence. And we have just done the counting and we need exactly 21. And we have exactly 21. When does that ever work out, right? So we looked at the spacings and we decided we didn't need them that close. <laughs> so uh, yeah. It has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with digging through rock, yeah? <laughs> nothing to do with the fact that it's hard work digging holes. No, just the size of the, the trees that we're using, it just seemed like overcrowding. So we're actually gonna go nine feet between just because that works out mathematically <laughs> along here. And uh, yeah, so we've only got two more posts to put in here. And uh, yeah, so that should be a bit quicker, shouldn't it, Marcus? Hopefully. You know, aren't you, Marcus? You're like loving this. Oh well, yeah, I, I, I'd live for digging holes in rock without a bobcat. <laughs> Trees will bloom and ice will melt 